And now, now I've got this funny placeholder th thing because I got tired of like windows being different sizes. So now, now if if Brian's video isn't exact exact, which I don't rem remember if it was or not not or if it was my own pan and crop that had fucked it up, but uh, regardless, it'll look good and there'll be at most like a little black box around around it, a little a little border at at most. Hmm. Uh, no. Um, What's weird about yesterday is just the fact that our last night and Happy New Year to to everyone one out there is I didn't hear a lot of celebrations and not a lot of er, early celebration I either it was uh, very quiet we usually get a lot of fireworks in our area even even though they're not le legal here uh, but no man I like we shot off the first firework just one. Uh, um, uh, Roman can candle, if you will. Uh, that's what they're called, called right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Uh, we shot off just stick thing. yeah, just just one one for for Lu Lucas at like eight. That that was that was it until like ten. Then... And then it wasn't very much. And... No, no, man, man. And we in our area, it's like usually it's like a few days mm -hmm. of Before, noise de during and after. Exactly, and I guess now people are just like, eh, I'm done. So, I, think I don't know. There might have been some uh, firework um, shortages because in the area I'm in, there's usually like thirty tents yeah. <laughs> all over. I I saw one, yeah, one in the last couple of weeks. And you're right, last night there was a few going off, but nothing like uh, hmm. it typically does. Yeah, I don't know. It was it was an odd night. It and was um, there wasn't as many parties on our street either. Oh, uh, and uh, what what I'm th thinking is is. You know, last year, year 2020, going into 21, we all were super excited and, and you know, celebrating the end of what we thought would be a good, god awful year and uh, not re not repeating. And then, then boom, <laughs> 2020 part two, <laughs> electric bo boogaloo. And now, now we're into 2023, the end of the first act of the end of, end of the world. No, I'm jo joking. Maybe. Uh, maybe. Uh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Anyways, it's kind of cool because I actually do have a, a, our whole new setup and I can get into things by saying welcome everybody to the Anime Versal Reviews podcast on the LR, or excuse me, on the po uh, little, 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 John Reverse Podcast Network and John Reverse uh, Podcast Network YouTube channel brought to you by LRM Online. There you go. I finally got through it. We are sponsored by the good folks over at Grow Generation, where the pearls go to grow oh, a little bit more from them later in, in the episode. You are watching the, this currently on one of our two ch channels, the LRM U YouTube channel or the Genreverse U YouTube channel. Uh, it's kind of a soft launch weekend for the Genreverse cha channel. And uh, pl please do sub subscribe. If you are on LRM's channel, hop on over to Genreverse. There's a link to it, to it down below. Uh, maybe I'll be able to put something on the vi video for, y for you guys. And subscribe subscribe there because starting next week, none of the podcasts, uh, Marvel M Multiverse, uh, da Daily Cup of Genre, uh, uh, Breaking Geek Radio, Anime Reversal, all of that stuff st starting Monday goes on to the Genreverse Podcast uh, Network's YouTube channel, Genreverse YouTube cha channel. Uh, so, so yeah, follow, subscribe. There's social media information down down below at the Genreverse on t Twitter, at LRM underscore exclusive on Twitter. I think I've done everything except say I'm Kyle Malone. This is Christine Malone. That's Brian Brantley, and we are here to talk about a movie that Brian's selected. Mm -hmm. Brian, yes. Words bubble up. First off, this movie is adorable as fuck. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and yes. what made made you ch choose it? And what was your first re reaction, bud? Uh, I literally I was just googling anime that um that came out in the last couple of years that was recent that I haven't seen originally. Cause you were like, Hey, what do you want to watch? And I was going to pick something I had seen before. And I was like, no, I want to, I want to see something new. And this one kept getting recommended in every list I saw. And so I watched the trailer. I was like, ah, I don't, the art style is sort of what did it for me. I was like, that's cool. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, and so I was like, all right, you know, hour 27 minutes. Sure. And so I watched it and I'll dude, <laughs> I got I got a little choked up at the end. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, it's this, this was a very, very good anime, and it it hits pretty hard in that last act mm -hmm. uh, in mm -hmm. a way I didn't expect. So yeah, I was very very uh, pleasantly surprised by 
how much I enjoyed it. Yeah, uh, Christine. Yeah, um, I remember when we were uh, when we just started watching it. I was kind of like, Brian picked this, you know, <laughs> <laughs> like I wasn't expecting it. I was, I didn't, I didn't know what you were gonna pick. So for me, it was just, I guess anything would have been surprising because it's like I don't really know what you were looking for uh, to to pick next. So you know, like we we're watching this, I was like, oh, okay. Looks nice, but yeah, we'll, we'll keep watching it, and it was really good, and it's like the more we kept watching it, the more invested, and it was just, it was great. <laughs> <laughs> it, it was uh, really, really just, like I said, fucking ad adorable. Yeah. It's, there's uh, some some heartbreak to a degree, more like just, oh man, that, that really sucks, but really relatable situations uh one one of them being moving and that that both that's what caught me yeah exactly that, that because that i felt excitement, every bit of that, that dread yeah. and, <laughs> and that that ride out of of town the three three of us have done that way too too many times all being army brats and then you and you being my spouse while i was while i was in the army mm -hmm. um the artwork we'll get into a lot more l later, but stylized artwork is always very, very I iffy. But this, you settle into it real, real f fast, uh, and the the coloring is just yeah. We'll we'll talk more more on that late, later. I yeah. I did. I I really en enjoyed the the movie thoroughly, um, and yeah, man, I can't wait to kind of just b break down, you know, the way that we do do things here on a AVR, which is talk about some of the the themes of the of the movie and then we get into some of the uh uh characters that we you know don't really dig into too much while uh speaking about overview and stuff and then we'll talk about the art art and music and uh yeah let's let's go ahead and just say what the movie's about kind of sort of the uh main main characters are uh cherry and smile that's the name names they go by sakura and i, I can't remember her her name her actual uh actual name but um uh, Cherry is a, a guy who's about to move. We find out uh, his mom got hurt. He's been filling in for her at this old old people's place, and then uh, kind of like a uh, not a nursing home, but like a rec center, if you will, like a rehab center slash rec yeah, center. Type. Like a way to entertain yeah. them and keep like them old, active. Like and... older people babysitting almost. Yeah. But not just ba babysitting. Mm -hmm. Um. Or day daycare, if you will. Uh, Cherry uh, expresses himself through haiku. He's not very, uh, he's not anti-sociable. He's got a couple of friends, but he's very, very in, in, into his own own world. Uh, doesn't like to speak as much outside of his uh, group of friends. Very minimalist, but loves his haiku. C carries a dictionary book with him, and uh, is part of a haiku gr group at the mall. It's just a really cool character that. It, I mean, I can relate. I don't always want to be in my my own world, but I can relate late to the idea of putting on some some headphones or whatnot and kind of getting out of it, uh, getting out of everything. But meets this other girl named named Smiles. She's kind of like a t Twitter or Instagram influ influencer, if you will, with her her and her sisters. She's dealing with randomly becoming self conscious. Oh, I'm guessing around the t time that she you know hit puberty because everyone's ho hormones and brains start ch changing and these are high school k kids and uh she's grew up with some buck teeth which she she inherited from her her dad and she just becomes self conscious about, about it wearing a ma mask doesn't want to smile any anymore she doesn't think they're as as cute as uh she and others uh, once did and then it's literally just slice of life crap they bump into each other literally accidentally sw switch phones and spend a summer getting to know each other getting to kind of fall fall for each other and uh at, at the uh the inside the middle of it all there's this uh side story about uh mr fujiyama uh fujiyama and a, a record with a, a girl that he he was in love for with that helps connect cherry and and smile some more and at the end we get this beautiful you know he's moving away the friends work with smile to to set up you know hey stop the car get him over to this festival because there's going to be fireworks and she's wearing yukata or, or uh kimono or whatever and and fucking yukata. yeah you got i can't remember which okay. one at the at like the uh festival time time but um mm -hmm. she's a uh, uh She's up there, you know, doing the social media thing. He comes in and, and does something you really, really wouldn't expect. And that's express himself, not just 
out in public, but over a f- fucking loudspeaker. We get fireworks, I like you, in, in the movie. It's it's beautiful, it's f- fun, and really, man, the, the th- themes that I, I get from this, you know, one, friendships and, and re- relationships just in general, but both ro- romantic and f- friendly. Uh, and then, of course, self-love and then kind of like uh, self-esteem, which kind of go, go hand in hand hand but there's a there's a difference between uh uh accepting your yourself and then uh, lo- loving your yourself yeah. and uh christine uh i know that and i, I don't hope this doesn't bring up too, too much uh but but yeah, i know in school you you had uh people that gave you issues about you know the, the way you look made you question that things as as well so i'm i'm guessing this char- character smile probably spoke to you a bit um th- that's they actually both did smile and cherry because i was definitely the person that did not like to be noticed um it was like frightening like social anxiety was was something i really struggled with um so i definitely related a lot to him and then self-consciousness um heck i even had a a boy in class in front of everyone ask my cup size (laughs) like like wanting to know my bra size and i'm just like I, and, and it, I just instinct- I know <laughs> I instinctually like just answered the question because I just like it was like an automatic question answer and then I immediately regretted it and I was just like stop <laughs> leave me alone <laughs> um so it's fucked up. I know and and you know dealing with short being short um you know and then I I've I was actually teased for being pale even by adults um, so there's like, you know, a lot of that. I didn't have... Tina. Yeah, shame on you. Um, <laughs> uh, so yeah, like, I, I had stuff that I, I had to deal with, and, you know, I, I've definitely moved on from all of that. Um, I don't wish to be taller anymore. I don't wish to have a bigger cup you size anymore. You don't want to anymore. be a little bit t- taller? Maybe a baller? <laughs> Stop. Um, but yeah, like, so I, I've definitely, since I've matured, have you know i i now have self-love but watching her it was definitely one of those like man i've been there girl i'm sorry <laughs> <laughs> so yeah it was uh, both of them brian uh the these themes are are kind of universal you don't necessarily have to have either a, a physical or behavioral uh um uh i don't want to call them d- defects because the they're they're not but you know something that's not like uh, others, you know, differences. or differences. There, yeah. there you go. I'm trying to be as PC as I can because some people take like blunt words meaning mean things, and it's like, no, that's just like how I talk. Fuck. Yeah. <laughs> but um, uh, go ahead and uh, talk about you know the 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 idea of self esteem. I mean, dude, you see ki- kids every every day uh, dealing yeah. with this shit. Shit. Uh, Not you to know, mention your yourself growing growing I'm... up. I'm on the shorter side of, of um, height, <laughs> and uh, there was definitely, I never really got crap for it. Uh, I'll be honest. I, I usually typically never got picked on about it, but there was definitely a period in high school where it bothered me a little bit, um, but I got past it pretty quick. The thing I loved about this film was that, you know, he wore the uh, the headphones. Mm-hmm. She wore the mask. They were both hiding in a way. Mm-hmm. They were still, like you said, they were still out there. They were social to a degree, but they both still had a way that the comfort, a thing that sort of um, their insecurities that they were able to shield themselves with. And I thought that was really clever. Um, I also thought this was a great way of portraying, I guess, sort of Gen Z. Yeah, Um, absolutely. A lot of times entertainment just it portrays younger generations in a very just wrong mm-hmm. <laughs> or you know you know and, and or, or just where we can't kind of relate to, to it at it, all or we can't relate to it it just feels like an older person trying to write a younger person and and this felt very genuine yeah um i, I love the fact that you know she she's still yeah she's online she's social media and she's super popular and everything but she still has her little group that she hangs with um they still go out and yes, they're on their phones all the time, but they're still out doing things. And, you know, he's working and helping support the family or because of his mom's injury. Um, but yeah, as far as going back to the the mask and the, the headphone thing, I, I just thought it was clever. And it, it was funny. There was a moment where they were both walking and I realized, oh, it's like 
they're both wearing a mask if you mm-hmm. will mm-hmm. yeah i was like that, that's clever you know there's yeah. a lot of little things like that throughout the film um, uh i i absolutely lo- love all all of that and well one of the one of the things also that we we see a lot with um writing for for youth is ig- ignoring the human ex- experiences uh they'll look for that you know, very small niche ex- experience, or m- maybe a generational sp- specific experience, which is is hard to m- then appeal to a to a broader audience. Not to mention, like Brian had said, you know, if you get older p- people trying to write y- younger people, and then often a lot of uh, what Western media s- suffers from a fear of certain, not just subjects, but certain tones or certain actions letting b- bad guys be be bad guys letting innocence exist like mm-hmm. there there's things that in in western media that uh modern th- things just kind of tiptoe around and it and it takes away from certain people being able to to experience it because you know the three of us we don't have you know thin ass skin and we're, we're not you know easily set off by by things so being challenged with our inter- entertainment is b- beneficial you know we, we see- seek that out and if you don't have those challenges then other issues become w- way more vi- visible but this focused on on the human ex- experience you know brian and and i had a, a very large group group of friends uh between the t- two of us and ex- expanded even broader to the to the uh you know the friends of friends outside of that that and even then we still had, you know, our own little, you know, safe, safe spots, you know, comfort zones, if you, if you will. But our other, other friends, uh, uh, did too. So, so seeing them, you know, you know, like hanging out at the a teen, teen club when, when we were in high, high school, uh, you would, could have a large group of friends that might all show up together, but one or two might kind of splinter off mm. and be lis- listening to music or playing the game while the others are doing more social, social things. So, I, I agree, Brian. Showing them walking around, being on the f- phone, be being there but not being there, there is a hundred percent. That's universal, man. Mm-hmm. And and I just I I I, lo- I loved it. I thought I thought this mo- movie did such a great job of taking things that we can all go through, d- definitely putting a modern spin on it. Spin on it. But it's again you, universal, so I re- yeah, I even really appreciate that. I think even years down the line, it's still going to be like, oh yeah, this of course you know places a date on on when it came out, but you know we can still get something from it. Yeah, yeah. I mean, we're we're living in a in a time of of technology like you you unheard of ubiquity in our in our war. I mean, it's just it's everywhere, right? Tech, microchips are are in everything, right? And uh, uh, it's it's fun to go. Oh, you can watch this eight, '80s movie, and sure, if there's an old style corded or cordless phone, that might date it. But other than the clothes, it it could be really time timeless. Not so much any any more even. Like mm-hmm. now we're getting to the point to to where even aesthetically, even the things that I once thought were aesthetically timeless aren't aren't. And I think think barring some sort of great re- reset, which would be awful. Uh, uh, this technology kind of filled world might might even last longer. Maybe I don't mm. I don't know, but uh, you're you are right to to where that even in the future people could still watch this and still connect connect to it because of the way it's done. Yeah, I mean, there's different different types of personalities. You know, shy boy likes girl, and you know, having to learn how to blossom and so yeah there's there's stuff to get out of it and yep self-consciousness and all that excuse me uh yeah uh so i think before we go ahead and, and start jumping into some of these characters we should take a word from our excuse me a word from our sponsors over at grow generation where the pros go to grow take it away Way. grow generation where the pros go to grow from propagation to harvest they have everything you need for your special garden Grow Generation serves customers across the nation and carries a wide inventory of renowned cultivation brands. Go to www.growgeneration.com, where the pros go to grow. 
Uh, thank you guys so so much for sponsoring the the episode. Please check them out in the link down down below. And uh, yeah, let let them know the Genreverse Podcast Network sent them uh, sent you or the Genreverse YouTube channel sent sent you. So yeah, do do that. Anime Universal reviews, woo, yay. Um, <laughs> characters are all right that's like the next th thing that we usually like to to get it get into and we we mentioned cherry and we m mentioned smile a, a little bit bit but uh i think you know brian you said that the ending really gets to you so so just speaking yeah. about these two two main characters and i'm guessing a little bit more with with cherry with the whole moving thing kind of dig in dig into his that wait what no <laughs> dig into the kid character <laughs> cherry yeah the the moving thing man the you know, like you said, I moved several times growing up, army brat. Um, the counting down the days, the slow packing, the make having to tell everybody you're close with, hey, this is when I'm leaving, this is when I'm leaving. Having those you didn't want to really tell. And then that day where, dude, when they got in the car, it was nighttime. Mm -hmm. And the, they finish packing, they get in the car and they take off and him looking out the window. I, I did that. You know, yeah. like, they, like I said, y'all... <laughs> I went through that several times and leaving people that you cared about. And, and so no, I just, I just absolutely felt that, but I, I love the way they, the, um, yet again, we're going back to the younger generation. Yes. They're on the phone all the time. And, you know, that's sort of the thing that everybody says, but I love that he still, they still are expressing themselves and the haikus was his, his way of expressing himself an old art form and our old, you know, uh, yeah. Art form. Yeah. And the fact that he used that also going back to the technology sidebar real quick. I loved how him and uh, smiles relationship. Um, it was the cell phones was sort of how they met. Mm -hmm. It was the communication. It was the journey of their love. And then the journey in the end, I, the character, the older man's Mr. name, Fujiyama. that it was also technology. It was, you know, he was taking pictures of her. They were recording her music. Mm -hmm. um, he, there was this record that he, you know, was was trying to find. And, you know, you need a record player to play it. So it, it was interesting that both of them, I don't know if that was on purpose, but an older form of technology, if you will, to, in a modern form, was sort of at the center of both of those essentially I didn't love stories. That, but that, yeah, that technology was, bringing us all together. I, I like that, but Brian, I didn't put it to get together like like that and not not only that but the the cell phone thing how many other um movies or shows have a, a future couple bumped into each other and swapped a bag or swapped a, an address book mm -hmm. or even phones uh, has happened in 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 uh television and stuff so yeah yeah, we connected with Instant Messenger when you were deployed, so it was like... Um, we knew each other for Well, yeah, but I'm just saying, before, like... Before, before, the, yeah. The, the, blossoming, the blossoming of our relationship started when you were deployed. Yeah, well, so, well pe people trying to kill you kind of makes you not, not want to get off the planet with, with an angry five-foot-nothing uh, redhead, you know, no, just like, yes, he's gone, and, and so, yeah. I was yeah. never gonna think that. I, you could, I would have, like, if I were you, it's... and I, and I had got, gone, I was an ass, still am. <laughs> True. <laughs> but, um, yeah, it, it is interesting how, how technology does that. Sorry, but Brian, go, go ahead. <laughs> oh, no, but, yeah, that just, yeah, I, I, I love the, that journey of his character, and, um, you know, it's funny because it, even though we get sort of a happy ending, and I won't jump into it yet, but there's still the idea that he is moving. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. And, I, and I thought about that, but there's a line earlier in the film, I forget who says it, where they're like, well, I have my cell phone, mm -hmm. you know, so that still connects me to everyone. So thinking that way, don't know how old he is. He looks, they look older, high school yeah. age. So at some point, you know, he could always come back um, in a couple of years or whatever when, uh, yep. you know. Gotta love that head cannon, Brian. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah, that's essentially yeah. yeah I know. Correct. I know. But uh, they could stay, you know, communication with the phone thing. Yeah, like uh, um, so. Yeah, I, I was immediately jumped to that idea because I was like, yeah, that was great, but he's still moving. Yeah. Yeah, like with weathering with you, there was no connection, but they still had the the memory of each other, and they got back together mm -hmm. in the end. So it's like with this, you know, fingers crossed, it could happen. Yeah, they don't have to, you know, fade out. They, they don't have to rely on a on a d damn time time traveling ribbon to con connect them, like in your your name. <laughs> yeah. So. And there's a lot of trains in Japan, so he could just you know 
Yeah, right? Travel, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Yeah, I know. E- easy. Um, Christine, you want to talk, talk about any of the characters? Um, any more about the main, main characters? You got anything else to say about, about um, Something that uh, you had mentioned um, a while back. Um, I think we were watching um, one of those, like, you know, like Spider-Man clips of, like, interviews or something. And, mm-hmm. and how Tom Holland um, was, like, so excited for the, the, oh, the watch, watch mojo, mojo lady. lady. Yeah. <laughs> and, uh, you know, it's, it's just like, like... Dude, you're, like, with Robert D- Downey Jr. I, I, I know you said you're, like, n- n- nervous when you met him and, and whatnot. But, like, you're, you're so excited freaking out to over meet the, this like, YouTuber. <laughs> YouTuber. <laughs> yeah, and so, like, um, um, uh, Cherry's friend is all excited. Like, oh, your smile. And so it was just funny how, like, you know how popularity and celebrity status can can be so different with the younger generation um or or even you know maybe some you know people like our age might you know get excited for someone who's a youtuber meeting them and and stuff like that how sure we're we're unfortunately millennials (laughs) <laughs> Isn't it crazy? We're we're all pushing for forty. Well, she's not over the halfway thirty point, but Brian <laughs> and I are pushing forty like hard, <laughs> and, very hard. And it, and to to remember that we are part of that millennial generation. Sorry, guys, it goes back as early as nineteen eighty one, according to most most places. It between eighty eighty one and eighty three is the starting year for yeah, for that. We're on the border. We're 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 yeah. in it. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, and yeah. and. And and guess what? There's already forty year old millennials. So fuck. <laughs> yeah, but it was it was funny to to see that, and it's like, you know, like you don't you haven't even met this person. They're not you know on the big screen or anything, mm-hmm. but yet you're you're still excited to see them. So I thought that was that was cute, like a nice little, you know, addition, you know, showing the generation and how how different it is, how different our times now are. So, like, I thought that was that was a good moment. Yeah, I like that. Uh, there's there's a cu- couple of like other other kids, the the friends mm-hmm. of of Cherry. Uh, one of them is uh, an immigrant. Uh, is says his dad s- speaks Spanish or writes Spanish or, or you know Spanish is is the la- language. So I'm I'm guessing maybe you know a, an immigrant potential potentially even a uh military me- member could be from this spanish military i don't know what the or, you know international yeah, or someone community mixed. is is there someone mixed lots of lot bi- business travel doesn't matter matter uh his whole whole thing is he's y- using uh cherry's haiku uh t- to learn how to write in in Jap- japanese by t- tagging graffiti er- everywhere all sorts of of uh t- cherry's haikus but he gets certain words wrong and that makes for a really good f- fun moment where the w- word he gets wrong is replaced with a word that still w- works um at at the end and then mm-hmm. uh there's tough tough boy who's just mr fujiyama's son and it's just a, a way to connect us from from the youth to to mr uh fujiyama's ex- extended fa- family or not his son is like grandson or some shit yeah, grandson. um and but it's M- mr fujiyama is the other c- kind of character to, to chit chat about and brian brought him up earlier he's an old, older man uh ran a record store uh uh spends his t- time lo- looking for this this record that uh he pressed with this girl girl that he had a, a thing for he took a fo- photograph a- of her got on on the record but he's not found the the record it's 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 been uh lost and uh at at the end of the his story they find a copy of the, the record it's warped and and uh smile breaks it uh trying to un you know trying to flatten it and then um uh they end up f- finding the the other one and i i spotted it on the wall o- only after you you see the fire firework I- image on the reverse side of the one that they of the one that they they found mm-hmm. um but uh as soon as i saw that that the v- very next time they were in the in the rec, rec room yeah, I was like, oh even God, before even before anyone else m- mentions it i'm like motherfuckers <laughs> yeah, yeah. well it made sense because he kept looking around the mall mm-hmm. and, you know mm-hmm. his memory wasn't there and but it you know you find it, out the mall, mall used to be a a, a vinyl pressing plant and yeah, and, yeah i mean it, it's just cool they find that this this record same exact record uh which the the back is a photo photograph of the of the town's a- annual uh uh festival uh 
uh, fireworks uh, has been turned into a clock and stuck on the on the wall and it's been been there for for, for years and uh uh they f- find the record and it, and it plays into to the e- ending and uh yeah Br- Brian did you have any thing you want to talk about yeah, Mr. Fujiyama it was um, it was w- wild cuz he he's introduced at the very beginning and then you know like say we bring in Cherry and Smile and their storyline literally their meeting and their friends and just all those interactions is sort of the first half of the film and then it turns in the second entire half is a quest mm-hmm. it's to find this record and and it was interesting how the film was broken up that way and and then of course their bonds and everything strengthen over that that journey but it was essentially a quest and then it dug dug into them learning about the history of that area and the mall and and so you start getting all these different little pieces and then finally they find the magic item at the end which they take to the festival so yeah i i I got invested in the story and when when um his daughter is explaining oh yeah my mom and you know she starts giving the story i'm like on the edge of my seat listening like oh what what like you start to really get invested in that story and want to know the answers of what Mm -hmm. exactly why he he wants that record so Mm -hmm. yeah i i I loved it i love how it connect connects to smile and the the whole uh uh what is it yaka i can't i can't pronounce the the word uh it's it's a uh kind of change on on um sakura and it, and it ends up basically relating to the to the buck, buck teeth like that was mm-hmm. the the whole whole thing is there's this connection the girl that mr fujiyama was in in love with at that that time also had a, a set of of buck te- teeth and it's that kind of re- realization there's a, a nice little moment where where she's looking at her herself and and, and even the reflection of her her phone and it's used earlier in, in it and what whatnot but seeing that come to get together and and seeing uh someone even you know long ago having just this beautiful smile and this old old man pining for for that for for years to to come is it's a really really cool like thing um what what did what do you have on fujiyama's part of this um i don't know not much else to say i mean you know brian had uh touched on a lot that that i was thinking but you know it's just really sweet like you know it's always that you don't have to have that perfectly perfect face Mm -hmm. um you found the word yeah yamazakura yeah, so it's like that that unique thing about someone, you know, it's like you find it cute. You find them, you know, attractive. It's it's like, you know, um and and it going into um smile and and cherry to where it was like, you know, he didn't care. He thought she was pretty, you know, even with that like it's like stop hiding it, you know, kind of thing and um yeah, so it's like, you know, having to just the whole thing just history repeats itself, yeah. you know, that kind of thing and but yeah. Yeah, the 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 word is for the um uh like budding leaves but before the uh cherries blossom, if mm-hmm. I'm if I remember correctly and that's why he he talks about the leaves she's hiding uh mm-hmm. because that that word was used again like I said as some sort of um colloquialism i guess you would say for buck buck teeth um so yeah that that last haiku you know that that he starts screaming there there at the end um is is really really cool and i I like how he just blunt bluntly says it since the guy re you know messed up the word on the sign maybe that's what gave him the the idea uh it says you know teeth i like your your teeth i like that they're that they're there that's that's Mm -hmm. fine not just fine. I like. I like it. I'm into that shit. Um, <laughs> God. Um, but uh, it is just a great scene, and and the the ending ending is like a lot lot of an- anime that end ha- happily, you know, at a festival of fireworks. I I like you. Oh, great, great. Uh, but it's it's just one wonderfully done, and uh, it kind of could take us into uh the dis- discussion about art because that's like a i mean this is where you get a lot of really uh uh good movement uh just kind of like at the be- beginning scene but it's set set dark darker there's there's a lot more more emotional stuff go- going on uh, 
going on for, for it. The the artwork here throughout the whole film though is is beautiful. Uh, the colors, like I said, especially in the in the beginning, whenever it's day, daylight, so bright and, and vibrant and just very very uh, striking. Uh, great use of of color. It's very very stylized. There's not a lot of like clean lines or or anything like that. Um, uh, it's got some odd move, movement to to it, but like I said, you settle into it really quickly and you start to to appreciate even the almost i don't want to say whimsical but uh because it's not it's very purposeful but uh that that fluid movement of even the line line work and how not er everything is not so so defined you start seeing how that fits in with the the music and the flow flow of the of the of the uh movie um i i think it's great but brian what what do you want to talk about with the with the art and the yeah, final scene if, if like that's something said, i missed <laughs> bold you know the art is very bold and and it, it's jarring for about the first three minutes mm -hmm. because <laughs> you like you said you have to just sort of get into it but then i you stop thinking about mm -hmm. it and i just the brightness it it it, it makes the anime stand out mm -hmm. in, in a very positive way because it does have sort of that unique stylized um art style and it, it works it works very well um I, did y'all watch the dub or the sub uh we watched the sub i did too okay i was just curious i heard that it was a good dub but yeah, i'm more was... wondering about the, the music you know there's some, i gotta watch the Do dr stone episodes where lillian sings and see if they have a japanese like vocalist there because lillian's um, um american yeah um because i'm i'm, I'm wonder point, yeah. i'm wondering i i haven't looked looked that up so i need i need to check but you usually just out of safety of me music if i can watch it in sub i i will especially movies because they they tend to have songs and stuff in, involved with them shows not not as much of a of a bother for me but yeah we watch the sub so but um but yeah no i love the art style and uh you know this is a movie i want to rewatch soon you know it's in a, and that's a you know that's a saying a lot it's one of those like yeah i really i really want to rewatch it um maybe maybe the dub but yeah beautiful art yeah mm -hmm. christine anything uh yeah like first watching it it can be kind of cuz I, I wasn't expecting it i don't think any of us were expecting the the way that um the artwork was but mm -hmm. you know it's just like it was done well and when it, when it comes to like you know stuff that's stylized it's a fine line of getting right and wrong you know sometimes it can be like okay and yeah, no this doesn't work for me but this it, it was perfect and you know you just kind of get deep into the story and it's it's not in the way you know, because sometimes where it is super stylized, it can just be like distracting. Mm -hmm. But it it wasn't. It was just it was perfect. I liked I liked it. Aeon Flux. God, I hate that shit. Sorry, guys. I know I just p pissed off some people, but me off. that fucking art is just atrocious. <laughs> I, love it. I fucking hate it. <laughs> it is. Oh, I'm not gonna get into that. <laughs> yeah. Thursday th throwdown daily. Now, nah, anyways. <laughs> um. Any, what did I interrupt? Anything? No, you're okay. good. Um, yeah, uh, the the music on 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 the on the other hand is used beautifully too. Very very poppy, and I don't mean like pop style. I just mean like the even the music is very very, just like the colors pop. The music pops. It it fits. the The montage scene is is great. There there's nothing in the the music that is ever dull. There are things that just kind of blend into the background, but that's that's good good you only want to re remember certain you only want people t to remember that they heard certain songs at certain points like i mentioned the, the montage and the and the fi final song you know p people go the star wars main theme the the force theme the imperial march be those are m moments tied but you, you start thinking about what what's playing while o obi-wan is is talking to to you know this character or in in the pre prequels or what what happens when uh the the theme when when it's not han and, and leia but Le leia and the and you know luke or something Pe people lose those those tracks but the fact is this has got mo moments where you're like damn man i can i can remember that music i i like that mm -hmm. anyone else Brian? There's, there's oh, something Christine. that I wanted to say, because sure, sure. 
Um, Brian had mentioned the different masks that they wore, mm -hmm. um, whether it be headphones or, or, you know, like a physical mask. Their houses, something that I noticed where um, Cherry's house is very small, closed off, cozy, mm -hmm. and Smile's house is really big and open. Mm -hmm. And even like the sisters, all three of them, their space is just so open and shared. Um, you know, Smile is someone outgoing, even though she's, you know, not liking her teeth. But, you know, you can tell with, like, the different, you know, ways that they live. I noticed that as well. Yeah. Um, so, uh, Brian, music. Yeah, it's great. Like I said, it, it, um, it works perfectly. And the, the, the song at the end, like I said, man, a combination <laughs> of that and the imagery, yeah, it, 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 it hits. <laughs> you know? Yeah, it's, it's not nice very, when the song starts nice. playing and, and the way he starts reading out his haiku that he's written over the, the summer, over the summer, um, which, you know, he, I, I don't know if he, I think there's a moment where he realizes what, what and who he's writing about without even knowing beforehand that's what he yeah, was doing. Yeah, she notices it too. Right, and he, I like that that part where he starts sp spouting out the hi haiku, not, you know, s singing them, but he is trying to find that that rhythm and go, go with the so song, and, and, and it is it is a, a be beautiful, beautiful moment. So that brings us down to, to the big discussion. What do you guys grade, grade this movie? Brian, you picked it. What do you grade it, man? A. <laughs> without 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 a, a no, doubt. It, it, it's an A. Yeah, no, I'm me. saying me me too, without a doubt. <laughs> I was gonna say the same thing. <laughs> oh, look at that! It is a tri triple A title, ladies and gentlemen. Yes. <laughs> um, uh, it's it's you know the the A plus is one of those those things that is uh not not just something that's executed great, but but something that's executed great and then is also different and blows you out of the it's. It, they got to earn earn that that plus but that that solid a that 9.5 out of out of 10 that that is just that is a great score in the sign of a of a perfectly executed film in, in my mind like that's when when i give out an a a i really want to feel like that especially with movies shows are a little little bit differently because they're you know based on things coming before and after that episode um but that that grade of a to, to me is just like you here here was your your idea this is what what you had to do to, to execute it and every fucking thing lined up so, so yeah you talk about your grade or anything no no just y'all covered it it was <laughs> cool. it was an a i mean it's hard to get that perfect score but i mean it was damn near perfect mm -hmm. you know there's still some things where it's like oh, you know i kind of want to find out what happens after like maybe like an end credit Could scene she for once say i like you too damn it well not just that but like you know with what happens yeah. with the whole moving situation yeah. you know for me it was just like yeah you don't always have to end on happily ever after but it, i'm still dying to know <laughs> um I love how short this f film was, and I don't mean mean yeah. that in a, like thank thank God it was o over. I mean it in a again perfectly executed way. Brian, hour and twenty minute minutes, man. Yeah, perfect, and and it but it told it told the story. You know, I didn't feel feel shortchanged outside of I, I agree. Maybe a little montage in the credits. Yeah, uh, would have been nice, but no. It, yeah, this is you know, there's so many movies, whether it's animated or not, that. You're just like, yeah, you could have shaved off <laughs> five or 10 minutes or 20 minutes in some cases. This, I was like, wow, that perfect script, you know? Yeah. Nothing, nothing wasted, nothing drawn out. Just, yeah. Yeah. It was great. All right, guys. Thank you so much for uh, joining us this week. Uh, the last week where we're, you know, putting these on LRM's YouTube channel. So please do stay sub subscribed there for all the great celeb celebrity interviews, uh, both on, 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 or both all including on set sometimes times red carpet types uh events and of course zoom interviews are still still go going on and uh uh subscribe to the genreverse youtube channel now genreverse podcast Net network has a youtube ch channel follow us also wherever you get your 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 podcast from social media information down below uh lrmonline.com on, and genreverse.com 
all your entertainment news needs and opinions uh please do help us get our subscriber count up on this new channel and and spread the genreverse to to others so yeah uh brian also does some uh youtubing what do you what do you got going going on brian yeah on youtube uh the channel is pulp mythos and do talk about shows like dexter and 1883 nice christine anything you want to put out uh no okay cool <laughs> you can find her on the daily cup of genre with me on on uh weekday so yeah uh thanks guys talk to you next time Bye.